Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Janet Namaste, the podcast. Honored to share space and some time with you. And um, thank you, thank you. Super grateful that um, you are following this numerological forecast that I promised that I was going to share with you all back in December of 2022. I don't break promises. So thank you so much for supporting the podcast. If this is your first time tuning in, please do subscribe, pay it forward. And um, if you've been listening, it's my, it's my heart is full. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that are tuning in for the first time, I am an intuitive coach. I am a healer. And the four Claire's, I was born with extrasensory skills, extrasensory abilities, where I was able to see, hear, feel spirit at a very young age, translating languages of the soul and wondering why what people would say that were coming out from their mouths and how they were expressing themselves sometimes didn't align with what was in the heart. So I was a very confused child of what was real, what was not real. And um, my specialty is really aligning those that are lost, perhaps, or stuck, perhaps, or have a lack of clarity, which we all do. There's no such thing of like, you know, feeling victim victimized or that uneasy if we somehow like went off the path of what our destiny is. We all get lost sometimes. I get lost sometimes. I wouldn't be able to do the work that I do if I wasn't honest and didn't experience all those, the plethora of human emotions. So therefore, I learned from them, paid forward, and also the channelings that I connect to the higher beings whenever I'm doing sessions and connect people with their divine blueprint, help them align with their destiny. And that's the destiny blueprint. So that's just a little about myself. You can always tune in on other pods and on the web, um, on the webpage to gather in more information if your heart desires. But as promised, I want to tune in to the numerological forecast of October. And October is, woof, this is a powerful month. Oh my goodness. This is like, if you are waiting for a powerful month, I mean, this entire year is one in which we're, we're learning of discerning of what is illusion, what is fear, where do I tap into my faith? And it's this like really discernment of, of the choices that are before you, making the distinction of what adds on to the value of your soul, what is real, and what actually has really, um, I don't want to say paid its dues, nothing, no, nothing is really owed to you, right? It's more of what has, what you have outgrown, put it that way, what when it's time to part ways in a sense with certain even an aspect of yourself, not necessarily relationships. So this was definitely a year and it still is. We have another October, November, December, another three months to go through, which is 90 days. It's the number nine signifies ending. So this is really interesting that this is now the time where we cultivate the fortitude, the all the power that and all of the energy that we have learned throughout this year, utilize it for the better good for ourselves and for others. So October is the number one month, which is it equals the number 10, you reduce it to, to a one. And 2023 is the number seven. So you add that up and it's a universal eight month. Eight promotes abundance, true prosperity. But how does true prosperity, what is that exactly? Is it having billions and millions and trillions of dollars. True past prosperity is what it is that we feel inside our personal power and how we utilize it for expansion, for elevating the consciousness of all. This is a month that promotes really of um, eliminating any types of scarcity mentality and expanding on 
what it is that is inside of you that you could help others really in a strong, strong, strong way. Be careful not to utilize that power against yourself. It's expansive. It's massive. But learn, when I say learn about flexibility, I didn't say that. It's in my, my mind goes faster than the words can come out. <laughs> um, when, you know, this is, this is the time where you can um, really build on those those brilliant ideas that you had back in March, like which was like the initiation month, and take it and and take whatever you cultivated, the fruits of your labor, utilize that or go back to that project, go back to it, open it up, see where you left off, and now with get a fresh new start because that's going to bring in excellent opportunities, like really, really well. It's a, it's an action-based month, October. It's initiation, it's, but it's also ruled by Saturn. Saturn's the planet of responsibility. It's not just that, do, that dominating patriarchal type of like authoritative energy of Saturn. It's also of like, do it with responsibility, you know? And even though you may not have everything before you, like, I also have a degree in um, computer science. So, you know, we used to have to flow chart things and have these kind of projects like that. So this is now a moment in which where we get to float just because you don't have it all flow charted for you. I want you to learn as you go. Put it out there. Put those ideas out there. It's not doing it frivolously and doing it um, irresponsibly. But it's like you do it with passion, ask for help, because you would be surprised who is out there that may help that you just didn't even think of asking. All you have to do is step out of your comfort zone and ask, because when you align your passion with purpose, this is this month. This is what this number, this like numerological forecast of this month will bring. It's the expansiveness, the abundance, the strength, the the um expansion, expansion of those brilliant ideas, because your fortitude is being like tested right now. The world is looking at you and not like with a magnifying glass of saying, or microscope and saying, when is he or she going to mess up? No, no, no. It is like saying, you have all this, you've had it since March, you've had it since birth, you've had it since the pre-birth plan, that's my past life regression work. You had it since the pre-birth plan. Utilize those beautiful gifts. Go within and take action, heart-based action steps towards the dreams that are within you. This is the month to believe in yourself, to align with yourself. And to really, if there's somebody out there that really needs your support, let them know how strong they are. Give them the support if they're asking for it. Show them, but then at the same time, work on your own masterful, divine, dharmic path because this is the month to do it. So thank you so much. Have a blessed October. Happy fall for everybody that's here in the Northern Hemisphere. Fear. It's so like Brooklyn, New York of me <laughs> in the Northern Hemisphere. Happy fall. It's getting chilly. And for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you're, the warm weather is coming. Enjoy. And until next month, happy expanding your power with grace. Track that prosperity. Enjoy. Until next time, namaste. Namaste.